Hey guys, welcome to the shop. And today's episode is about saving money, hopefully. Hey, you hear that T Model Ford in the background? Yeah, T Model Ford, I'm gonna give you some links. Man, I got some good stories. I should do like uh, some stories about Bob Log and T Model Ford and Hassel Adkins when they were touring together, what was going on in the car and crazy. Anyway, today's episode is about slides. How many of you got all these slides? You buy them. Some of us can't even play guitar. That so today I'm going to show you a product that hopefully will stop you from buying all these things. Maybe you can make your own and maybe you could even, I don't know, sell them. Maybe you could be making the money instead of spending it. Okay, so let's slide this out of the way and, and get down to the topic. Now, you know I don't generally do product endorsements, uh, but this one's a tad different because when it comes to bottle cutters, most bottle cutters cut this part of the bottle and they don't do well up here. So you're left doing this by hand and um, you got to get really good at it or make a machine that rotates the bottle like this or so and to get that line straight because if that line isn't straight when you uh, crack it it's going to break now when I ordered this you got to pay attention to the price of these creators bottleneck cutter you'll find them anywhere from uh, mid $30 range all the way up to over $70 for the exact same product again remember I'm not making any money off of these people or anybody else that's not why I'm here but you op I ordered it you open it up and it's pretty simple you've got the cutter which basically has a threaded rod on it and the bottleneck fits here and you adjust the link this way and there's a cutter here also in the kit beside the instructions is this pretty handy stone and it's round on one side can you see it's flat here and then round on the inside so it can fit inside the bottle so you get rid of those sharp edges there now you just follow the instructions pretty simple um, self-explanatory um, but what I found handy is don't reinvent the wheel. If you have a slide that you know you like the length of, use that as a guide. So I've got a Dunlop slide here, and I can just put that there. Uh, maybe I've got a glass slide that I like. Um, anyway, you adjust this to where the length of the cutter is where you like it, like so. Now once you've adjusted that and got it right, don't forget to tighten this down a tad. This is plastic, so don't abuse it and put a lot of stress on it. But tighten that down because if you don't, this is going to move a little bit. And then as you're spinning it, the line won't be straight. And if the line's not straight, you're going to end up with something that breaks out like this one did. The first thing I want to do, I want to take this green bottle here. And I just want to cut this off so I can see what I'm doing here okay with the foil gone now I simply uh, take this and set it on there like so now this is a trick that I learned really fast you see the cutter is right there so I'm gonna turn the cutter to here you can see the cutter is right there and I'm gonna push that down where it's seated and then I'm gonna take a little piece of this masking tape I know we all have this around and I'm gonna put it right there like so and then I'm gonna turn this so the cutter is actually right on that piece of tape now I want my workbench to be nice and uh, flat and not have any debris because when I spin this I'm only gonna be able to spin this around one time and I want to apply even pressure here and I want to put my fingers and thumb here on these I don't want to hold it up here anything that will cause this to move is going to be bad now I'm going to take my hand on the bottle and I'm going to rotate as far as I can this way again my cutter is on the piece of tape so I know where I'm at I'm going to turn it this way I'm going to press down and I'm going to roll this and not move anything 
and you can hear it cutting the glass. There we go. The cut went all the way around and only one time. Okay, now you're going to need a candle, preferably something to hold it. I stole Tammy's cup. Isn't that sharp? Must have. Anyway, I'm going to light this candle here and let it get going. And then I got this coffee can full of water. And rather than burn up all the ice in the house, I use these freezer packs like so. Now I'm going to take the bottle where that score line is and I'm going to rotate it above this candle for about a minute and a half. And I won't bore you with what that looks like. All right, there's a minute and a half. I'm going to take this and plunge it directly into the cold water. Look at that. Now before I forget, whenever you're working with glass or grinding something, you always want to have a pair of these. We got a pretty nice cut here on the bottle and then we got this. So now all we're going to do is just take this stone and get rid of the spots and also go on the inside like this. But there we go. Now I actually went through a few bottles to get it this way. It didn't happen this way this quickly, but this is a learning curve uh, and uh, overall, this is a good product and um, it's pretty simple. Just follow the instructions. Okay, after a few tries, I got a pretty good one here. Took some filing and polishing and it worked out okay. Uh, before we give it a whirl here, I want to do some housekeeping. Uh, thanks to my friends Dee and Danielle for getting me the wine bottles I needed. Uh, next, always send me an email check out the i cards that pop up here and um my subscribe button shows up at the end here in a minute and as well as my playlist buttons so that said i think the big lesson here on this product is don't go around more than once be patient and um, let's see what it does <laughs>